It's Tuesday morning, guys. It's Tuesday morning. We have a TV window. It's gloomy today. Gloomy, gloomy. I do something silly like that, you laugh hysterically. Hi guys, it's Tuesday today and it's September 11. Merong hurricane na papadating mga Wednesday night, magla-landfall dito sa North Carolina. And ayun, nagpe-prepare dapat ako ng breakfast namin. But uh, sabi ni Charles, ano, we're going out kasi yesterday, uh, he ordered a um, generator. And he received confirmation this morning that it's ready to pick up. So we decided to just have breakfast sa labas and nakagawa na ako. Ayan na guys. Ready na sana yung pang breakfast. Nagawa ako ng grits and then bacon and um, egg with um, ano tawag dito? Um, cheese. Tapos sabi niya wag na daw. And then may coffee na rin ako. So, gagawin ko na lang tong coffee. Gagawin ko na lang yung coffee and dadalhin na lang namin sa car kasi medyo malayo yung pagpa-breakfast namin para may mainom sa car. Charles, parang tapos na siya maligo. Magsusot lang ako ng sapatos and aalis na kami, guys. Oh, dadalhin ko nga pala yung coffee. Wait lang. Are you ready, Hubs? Okay. I'm here outside waiting. Thanks, loves. What? Looking to find one of those tarps. I, I don't have a plastic tarp, but I thought about it. I've got some of those drop cloths, those canvas drop cloths that I used to paint. That would be better than nothing. Okay. So I, look in the garage. I, there might even be one in the back of the truck already. We put it on the top. In the top? Yeah. Okay. Well, all right. Get it out of there then. <gasps> So we'll just put this coffee in the truck. Okay. I made coffee for you. Oh, it's sunny, guys, outside. Suddenly, naging sunny siya. But last night, it's been... Oh, gosh. Pero last night, guys, it's been raining. Raining and... ano tawag doon? Um, raining and... Uh, ang daming kidlat in thunder. Gabi. Pero ngayon, ano siya, mayroong sun, pero tingnan nyo naman, may sun, tapos, um, cloudy. So, may pinapahanap sa akin si Charles na tarpaulin. Kasi we're going to pick up yung generator, and baka biglang umulan, kasi paulan-ulan siya eh. So, gagamitin namin tong truck. Baka mabasa. Ano oras 
na ba? It's already ano na, 10.30. I thought you understand what is oras. Because I said, ano ko ano ba? And then you suddenly answered, it's 10.30. <laughs> It's been an hour from us. It's an hour drive. Is that the one that you told me it's like industrial or something? Yeah, it's an industrial supplier. Daddy used to use it. So, we'll pick up the generator. Actually, the generator here lahat out of stock na sa mga Home Depot and sa Lowe's, wala na mga generator kasi siguro mga tao pumipili ng mga generator kasi preparation sa hurricane and wala kami mahanap si Charles he's been looking for a generator yesterday and finally he found one sa industrial something industrial so industrial supplier and meron isang available so kukunin namin siya kasi normally hindi alam ng mga tao yung na pwede kang kumuha doon kaya may nakuha siya, may nakita siya isa and we're still traveling today is Tuesday and I think the hurricane uh, landfall in North Carolina will be tomorrow evening, right? I think they're calling for Friday Oh, Friday? Yeah. They were calling for Thursday the uh, tropical, some of the tropical force winds will start hitting the coast tomorrow night, but the main part of the hurricane will be Friday morning, I think, as I recall. Here in North Carolina? Yes. So, yan, Friday, Friday morning pa naman pala. And ang dami kong, ano, ang dami kong uh, nabasa sa news and wala yung iba nag-evacuate. Now, have you seen that, sweetheart? The one in uh, South Carolina, they evacuated the hospitals. Near the coast, yes. Yeah, yun. May mga hospital na evacuate na sila sa South Carolina yun. Kasi malapit sila sa, sa coast. The governor of South Carolina, Henry McMaster, put out a mandatory evacuation order for the entire coast of South Carolina. Yeah, so mayroon ng mandatory evacuation sa entire coast ng South Carolina and I think they're coming here in North Carolina <laughs> Probably a lot of them are on this road Yeah, and kaya medyo traffic ngayon guys kasi ang daming nag evacuate So ang traffic talaga siya, kanina ano Ngayon medyo okay na yung daloy ng traffic ko, kanina sobrang traffic Kasi mga nag evacuate yung mga tao Yun, mga 35 minutes pa from now, makakarating na kami sa pick up namin ng uh, generator Meron, meron kasi kami dating generator pinamigay ni Charles. Pinamigay niya nung naglipat kami. Kaya ngayon bibili kami ulit bago. Ang mahal pa naman. It's too expensive, right? So hard. Yeah. I think it's um, $1,000 something. Over $50,000. Yeah. Mga nasa mahigit 50,000 pesos siya. May, may kamahalan din. Pero mas okay na yung ano, meron kong magamit in case sa emergency pag mawalan ng power. Kasi yung refrigerator, ma, ma, ano, masisira yung mga pagkain, tapos walang ilaw, tapos kung kailangan mong tumawag, you need to charge your phones, mga ganon. So, but if in case that they're going to hit the power, we will lose the connection as well. If they hit the tower. If, yeah. they, if the tower loses power. Okay. So, but that's, that's going to be rare. Okay. So, ayun. And we are going to be here. Mm-hmm. I 
this thing not sliding through, it would be, you could smash the tailgate. Oh, really? 238 pounds. Oh, yeah. Mm. Cleaning the steering wheel while driving. <laughs> So really, really, what do you call that so hard? Like someone's like, he always wanted to be very clean. What do you call that? We call that in the Philippines, uh, maselan. What do you call that? Particular. Particular? <laughs> Na guys, yung aming generator. How are we going to bring them down? That's too heavy.
the only other way is I can put them on the dolly and then I get up in the truck and I try to hold the dolly while I do let it down. So I don't really know that that's going to do as much. Yeah, I think it's so much <laughs> there's a really macho and strong said hi <laughs> macho and strong <laughs> look how macho and strong is my husband <laughs> how many pounds is this with heart 238 pounds and we're able to <laughs> to unload it ourselves he is truly a macho husband <laughs> so thanks for watching till next time thanks for watching guys and bye bye. God bless you all bye bye